Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Kung Fu Panda, featuring the voices of Jack Black, Dustin Hoffman, Angelina Jolie, Seth Rogen, David Cross, Jackie Chan, Lucy Liu, and Ian McShane, directed by Mark Osborne and John Stevenson. Now before I get into this movie, I have seen this movie a couple of times in theaters as well as when it came out on Blu-ray, and I'm going to just say it now. I don't know, um, and I'm curious about the fourth part, but let's see if this is like How to Train Your Dragon, where um, the three movies were great, but the th I don't know how the fourth movie is going to go, but I really don't remember too much about two and three, but I remember really enjoying this one the most, so let's see how this goes as far as the sequels go, so let's get into the first one. We open the movie in Poe's dream with Poe the Panda, voiced by Jack Black, telling the story of a legendary warrior called the Dragon War well, maybe not the Dragon Warrior, but some panda warrior, let's say, and how his kung fu skills are awesome, and he is approached by the Furious Five, led by Tigress the Tiger, voiced by Angelina Jolie, Mantis, voiced by Seth Rogen, which literally he's a mantis, Crane, voiced by David Cross, Monkey, voiced by Jackie Chan, and Viper, the snake, voiced by Lucy Liu, hang out with Poe until he wakes up at his dad's restaurant. And his dad, Mr. Ping, is a goose. And Poe tells him a lie about his dream as he says he was dreaming about noodles, which is his restaurant business. And Mr. Ping is happy about it, and the animation was very good in this movie. The Furious Five train with their master Shifu, but voiced by Dustin Hoffman, as he's interrupted by a messenger, as well as his master, Ugwe, the turtle that Shifu student Tai Long, voiced by Ian McShane, who looks like a cat, let's say. I, I don't know if he is a cat, but he's like some kind of cat-looking creature, is breaking out of prison, and Ugwe is picking up the next dragon warrior, while Poe tries to get up to the palace with his noodle cart, but he can barely get up the stairs which is a joke throughout the series as well as the movie, because he's a big fat panda. Sorry to disappoint. I'm fat too, so give me a break. And when he gets there, he gets locked out from the show, and he tries to find a way to see the, who the next dragon warrior is, as eventually he gets an idea of fireworks on a chair while telling his dad his noodle dream, the noodle dream, I mean, was a lie, and is passionate about kung fu, and it gets him to the other side of the, while Ugwe senses the dragon warrior is present. And when Poe lands, Ugwe points at Poe as he's the next dragon warrior. And everybody is shocked and surprised. Poe became the dragon warrior and Shifu believes it was an accident. And Ugwe says there are no accidents. And I really like these characters as Poe is my favorite as I'm a Jack Black fan. And when I get to School of Rock and Nacho Libre, those are movies that I always find him the most hilarious in he's hilarious in other movies too and i did review him last year with the mario brothers movie as he always finds a way to crack me up and it never fails good on you mr jack black the messenger arrives at the person at the prison i mean where tai long is at and commander vichir voiced by Rock michael clark duncan is insulted by shifu's message and he shows the messenger Tai Long is secured until he grabs up the feather from that bird. I think it's a goose of a messenger. While meanwhile, Poe po, excuse me is taken to the palace. While Poe is a fanboy of kung fu, and Sight sees until Shifu shows up and is completely against Poe as the dragon warrior until he gets the dragon scroll, which has limitless power and introduces the Wuxi finger hold. And Poe knows the hold, and Poe begins training with the Furious Five and starts at level zero. While there's no such thing, sure, and it starts off while punching a, a dummy bully, whatever you want to call it nowadays, and the dialogue is hilarious. The Furious Five hate on Poe, and they get to their bedrooms and accidentally opens the door to Crane, and Poe accidentally opens the door to Crane's room, as he does, as he says he doesn't belong in the room where Tigress approaches Poe. And says he doesn't be belong in the kung fu world, as she says he's a disgrace to kung fu, which seems kind of harsh. As Poe never quits, but he eats some peaches from a tree, and Uguay talks with him 
about why he's down and decides to train Kung Fu overnight, which won't probably always work. And I like Poe never quits Wan when he tries something. Tai Long escapes the prison and beats up the prison guards as those guys are rhinosaurus. A rhinoceros, that's what it's called. And how does a cat-looking creature escape prison and beat up the rhinos was clever as this screenplay is, in my opinion. The, surpri the sunrise hits and the Furious Five wakes up and Master Shifu and believes... trains the Five and believes Poe has quit until they start training and he warms up and the trainings begins with the Furious Five and Shifu beating up on Poe all day long, as well as the other Five, let's say. As he says, a warrior never quits, and I admire Poe for not quitting the thing he's an expert to be on to begin with. While Poe is getting healed by Mantis and Viper, Tigris tells the story of how Shifu loved Tai Lung like a son, and he was devastated when he went bad, and Ugwe had to stop him from stealing the Dragon Scroll, which made me feel so bad for Shifu. And I like that we get to know him as a character, too. Shifu tells Ugwe about Tai Long being out of prison and is on the way to the palace and Ugwe dies like by wind like any kung fu master would while Poe serves the Furious Five soup for them except Tigris doesn't want any as Poe takes a sip and has a noodle like a mustache like Shifu as has and makes fun of Shifu briefly and until he's right behind him and he tells and he tells the bad news about Tai Long and coming and Ugwe died and they act like children and Poe almost quits up but Shifu talks him into staying and the Furious Five go after Tai Long and these scenes are beautifully animated and the humor works for the kids as well as adults. The next day comes and Shifu sees Poe doing some kung fu in the kitchen and does the complete splits while ten feet off the air like he brought up earlier in the movie, Shifu, I mean. And he takes him, and Shifu takes him to the Pool of the Sacred Tears, and Shifu decides to teach Po Kung Fu, as well as Kung Fu with chopsticks, and is successful, while the Furious Five fight Tai Long. But unfortunately, Tai Long defeats them, and that, and paralyzes them, and that was a brutal fight, while Shifu teaches Po Kung Fu and calling him his master was inspiring, in my opinion. Poe has done awesome as Shifu agrees until the Furious Five come back paralyzed. And Shifu heals them and Tai Long is stronger than ever. And as Shifu tells Poe, he's ready to see the Dragon Scroll. And after they get it down, Poe looks at it and tries to read it. But there's nothing except the mirror of Poe. And no word show as Shifu tells the Furious Five and Poe to evacuate the town as well as they have a tr to train without him around. Poe gets home and his dad decides to tell him the secret ingredient he's been telling Poe since the beginning of the movie is nothing. And Poe realizes what he should have in the palace and there's no secret ingredient as it was a tad cliche. Tai Long approaches the palace and Shifu and have a fight and Shifu is almost defeated until Poe comes up the stairs and approaches them both and they have a fight starting in the palace and takes it to the stairs as Poe's butt is on Tai Long's face, which was humorous. And they take it to town and protects the dragon scroll from Tai Long. And Poe imagines the scroll and a cook as a cookie. And Poe becomes the dragon warrior as Tai Long looks at the dragon scroll and sees nothing like Poe did earlier. And Poe becomes powerful and beats Tai Long with some kung fu and eventually beats Tai Long with the wushi finger hold and says a line that to defeat him by saying skadoosh and Tai Long is gone forever and the Furious Five as well as the town bowed and respected Poe as the dragon warrior and then and they say master and Poe goes up to Shifu in the palace and says he defeated Tai Long and is trying to do an inner peace and Poe she with Poe and Shifu as they're done, get something to eat, and credits roll to an after credits scene with Poe and Shifu having lunch together. As we see another tree growing on the ground from earlier when Shifu uh, cuts the nut of the peach in half. Well, not in half, but cuts the peach in half, and there's a nut that, that it's like a seed. 
to in the ground and the climax was a heck of a lot of fun as as this is a very funny movie in my opinion now it's time for my reading i'll give this movie a 8.3 out of 10 the animation is very good as i do like the characters and poe happens to be my favorite and jack black never fails at making me laugh as he is in my opinion hilarious and the dialogue is hilarious and when i get to school of rock which will be sooner than you might think and not libre i'm gonna crack up in those movies like and i will explain why i think jack black is really funny the screenplay is clever as this movie as is this movie and this will work quite well for the kids for the kung fu reasons and the humor for the adults and this movie is beautifully animated as this movie as this is the most entertaining i've had along with the first shrek as well as the how to train your dragon trilogy this movie can inspire kids to learn kung fu and the plot is fun for start to from start to finish and this is one of the great dreamworks animated movies and i'm curious in my opinion as i'm curious about the sequels i don't remember them too well but we'll get there and this is a solid movie as well as a solid recommendation for both kids and adults so i'd like to thank you guys for joining me and next time i will be back with kung fu panda 2 and until then skadoosh